everyone and welcome back. Today we are in the reef. I got my 10 armor cores. We're going to take a little trip down to Lericus, the House of Judgment guy. And today we have our 10 weapon cores and our 10 armor cores and we are going to go ahead and open up 10 Judgment's Chance packages. So I have pretty much all of the Prison of Elders gear and a lot of the weapons, but this time we're going to see if we can get any new weapons that I don't have yet. So let's go ahead and get into these Judgment's Chance packages, pick up a couple heavy ammo suits real quick. And now let's go ahead and get into the packages. So first off, we got the Kelslayer's chest piece. We got the Kelslayer's greaves. We got the Wolfborn Oath shotgun. Now we got the Chain of Orbix Fell. Another chest piece for the Titan. We didn't get anything from that one. It's probably in the Postmaster though. We got the Shadow of Veil sniper rifle. I didn't have that yet. That's pretty cool. Um, we got another weapon that got sent to the Postmaster, it looks like. And... Everything else has got to send to the Postmaster. So it looks like we did get a few weapons, so let's go ahead and head over to the Postmaster and check out what else we got. Alright, so here we are at the Postmaster, and it looks like we did get another Kelslayer's chest piece, another Shadow of Bell sniper rifle, the Wolf's Leash scout rifle, and the Six Dragon Pride hand cannon. So let's go ahead and go into all these weapons really quick and compare them to some of the other Prison Bellage weapons that I have. So first off, we have the Wolfhorn Oath. It's a solo shotgun with close and or personal and muttoner. So this is a pretty good shotgun to use in the Prison of Elders, but I wouldn't really see using it anywhere else. I'm definitely going to keep it though, go ahead and give it a try. Now we have the Shadow Bill Sniper Rifle. Now this thing isn't really that great. I've already had it last week when he was selling it, I picked it up, but I didn't really like it, so I went ahead and scrapped it. Now we have a couple Kelslayer's chest pieces that we have left over, but I already have the one that I want, so I went ahead and scrapped those down as well. Let's go ahead and check out the gauntlets though, because I didn't have these yet, so these have some pretty cool attributes. Increased reload speed with special weapons, and a chance to drop orbs with melee attacks, so I'm definitely going to be keeping those. Be leveling those up over the next few days. Let's go ahead and see how these look with a few other shaders. First off, we've got Shatter White. It looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out look at Glowhu, and as well as some Prison of Elder shaders. Uh, overall, I think these look pretty good. I'm probably going to be wearing these for the next few days to level them up and test out that melee attack. Now we have the Chain of Orbix Fell. I did already have one of these maxed out, so I went ahead and scrapped that. But now we are on to the new weapons that were in the Postmaster. I'm going to go ahead and free up some space in my inventory and check out some of these newer weapons. So let's go ahead and I'll catch you guys once I free up my inventory. Alright, so we are back. I went ahead and picked up my Prison of Elders weapons out of my vault. And let's go ahead and compare all the Prison of Elders weapons. First we have the Wolf's Leash and the Wolf's Leash 2. So it looks like the Wolf's Leash 2 is just a, the same weapon with a burn on it. So let's definitely go ahead and scrap down the original Wolf's Leash that's pretty much useless now. And let's go ahead and take a look at this hand cannon. Acknowledge receipt. Now this is the Six Drag Pride and you can get this from any Prison of Elders or from these Judgment Chance packages. And I have not seen Goodbye, this thing yet Guardian. so I'm definitely going to be keeping this thing. It seems pretty rare because I have actually run a bunch of Prison Velders. I'm ranked 3 on a couple of characters already, and I've never seen this drop, so I'm definitely keeping this thing after finally getting it. But now let's go ahead and get all of my Prison Velders weapons together and see what I've got so far. Alright, so now that I've got all my weapons out of the vault, let's, we have the Six Drag Pride, we have the Wolf's Leash 2, and we have the Wolf Slayer's Claw for all the primary weapons. We also have the Sniper that I scrapped down, and the Wolf Born with Shotgun, and we do have the Chain of Orbic Spell Light Machine Gun. As for the gear, we do also have all the pieces of the gear. We got the leg piece, we've got a couple of chest pieces after we scrap those down. We have the gauntlets, and the only thing that I'm now missing is the helmet, but I don't really like the look of it, so I saw it in the store a few times, but I didn't really want to pick it up. But let's go ahead and see how this gear looks with a few other shaders. So we have Cryptograph, we've got Blacksmith, we've got a couple of the Prison of Elder shaders that you can pick up from Valkus. But anyways guys, that is pretty much it. That's a pretty good look at what all the gear will look like with different shaders and what all the weapons look like and their attributes as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow in another video. Peace.